Today we're talking about problem solving with Venn diagrams. So we've seen Venn diagrams already. Uh, problem solving generally means there's no specific methodology here. It's just going to be a range of different problems, worded problems that involve using Venn diagrams. So let me show you a couple of examples. So here, for example, it says we've got a Venn diagram here. It illustrates the number of people in a sporting club who play tennis and hockey. So normally, if you are asked to create the Venn diagram yourself, you should do something like this. This is tennis, so I will draw a circle for tennis. And then the other one is hockey, so I would draw another circle for hockey. And I would put all of this stuff into a Venn diagram. Okay, so then let's see what are the same. The same, determine the number of people in the club. Well, if they've given you 15 here, 27 here, 26 here, and seven here, well, you add them all up, and that gives you how many people you've got in total. So here, we add them all up, we get 75. Easy peasy. Um, how many people play hockey? So here, this is where some students get confused. They look at this red circle, which is hockey, and they think, we've got 27 here, we've got 26 here. What do they mean? Do they mean 26 or do they mean 26 plus 27? Well, the answer here is 27 plus 26, because when we have the circle for hockey and they've asked how many people play hockey, they don't really care about whether these people also play tennis or not. They don't really care that this part is also another circle. All they've said really is how many people are in the red circle. So you just add up the 27 and the 26, so you get 53. Now, if they say how many people play both, so any question that involves both means we have to go in the middle. So in this case, that would be that 27 here. So all you have to do is just answer 27. Now, the other key word we need to be familiar with is the word neither. So when they say neither, they mean none. Not one, not the other either so that means we have to find the people outside and that would be seven so seven people play neither and then finally as a weird one a strange one it's least one sport well this one i'm gonna go ahead and underline using a bit of a wavy line because at least one we have to process this so this would be either only tennis or only hockey or we could have a third case or both so this is what we need to work out so notice only tennis would be just the 15 here on the left only hockey would be the 26 on the right and both would be the 27 in the middle so basically they're really asking us to add the 15 the 27 and the 26 and put that those numbers together and get 68 so keep this in mind at least one is exactly what we've done here. So either this or that or both. Moving on to a second and final example here. This is an example which involves algebra. So it's going to be quite scary for all those students who see this X and run away. So here we've got a problem where we've got the Venn diagram and we've got some X's involved. So let's see. We've got in a class of 24 boys. So we've got boys in total. Uh, 16 play football and 11 play baseball so let's go ahead and call this football the one on the left i'm gonna make that the blue circle and then on the right we have the red circle which is the baseball circle okay so let's see how we're going to continue here so they say now we've got 16 play football so we will put that in a pair of brackets here to show that i usually do that i would recommend doing that it really helps um you put bracket 16 here, meaning the entire blue circle has 16 students in total because they said 16 here. And we also know that the entire red circle, people who play basketball, uh, baseball, uh, there's 11 of them. So we just put brackets here and we put 11. All right. So now they say two play neither. So this is particularly useful. It means that the two, this two here, will go outside the Venn diagram right here. So we've got two outside. Now they say, how many play both games? So we need to find that number in the middle. So how does this whole business work? Let me explain. So firstly, they've given us that the total number of boys is 24. So they said the total is 24. Okay. What else have they given us? They've given us that two here, which is the, the two that play none, no, no sports, neither. So if you do 24 minus two, that gives you 22. So that would be the blue uh, and the red circle all together. 
So I'm going to put it this way, blue and all of the red um, all together. So we know that everything in there should be uh, 22. But now notice what's happening here. They've told us that all of blue is 16 and all of the red is 11. So if we add these up, if you do 16 and then you add 11, then what do you get if you add these two? Well, we get 27. But it should be 22. So what has happened here? If it should be 22 and it's 27, it means that there's a difference here, which we need to work out. 27 minus 22 is equal to 5. What is this 5? This is the x, it's the extra. Why do we have 5 extra? Well, the answer is simple, because this 5 has been counted twice. Now, this very often happens in Venn diagrams. We have the number in the middle, that 5. Notice how that 5 counts for football, and it also counts for baseball. So that's why when you add these two up, you always get something extra, because the middle bit has been counted twice. So keep this trick in mind. And now that we found this 5, we can work our way backwards. We can find from this 5 how many people play football here on the left, and we can find how many people play baseball here on the right. So we know the entire blue circle is 16. So if we do 16 minus 5, that gives us 11. And on the right, the red circle, we know that the whole circle would be 11. So if we take away this 5, which is in the middle, we get 6. So we have answered, we have found all the missing numbers here. And we could easily say, well, 5 played both games. If they asked us more questions, we could say 11 play only football, 6 play only baseball that sort of thing. So keep this trick in mind. This is an algebraic problem with Venn diagrams. In any case, have a go to exercise 2F. Try to do as many as possible, and I'll be on the call. Happy to help and answer any questions you might have. So I'm stopping the recording here.